All right, Teresa, what do we get to try now? I'm super excited because this is like one of the single finger pinots, right? It is, yeah. So we get to try our Halberg Pinot Noir today. Okay. So we were talking about Green Valley. Okay. And this is our uh, top vineyard in the Green Valley location, the Green Valley neighborhood. Okay. And is, I mean, I know German Berg means hill. So it was like haul up. Is it the haul up on the hill or? It's in a hilly-ish location, not super high elevation at all. It's uh, actually lower elevation, but there are definitely some slopes in the vineyard, okay. which give it some unique, each of the blocks has unique characteristics. And then how did you find this vineyard or what was, how do you find the single vineyards? I guess that's kind of a fun, kind of cooler question. You yeah. Know. Well, many of them pre-existed me here at Gary okay. Farrell. Um, I started in 2012 and we've been working with Hallberg for a very long time. Okay. Uh, and it's just a, it's a beautiful part of the portfolio. Gary loved it because okay. of the, the cool climate qualities. It's more blue fruit expression than say the nice. vineyards from the middle reach that are more red fruit expression. And we're always looking for different components to contribute to the Russian River blend, but also to have as our individual single, single vineyard designates. Okay. We're yeah. always on the hunt for new vineyards. <laughs> where does where yes. that discovery happen for you? Yeah, so it is with tasting the fruit as well, but mostly um, when we discover new vineyards, it's because we, we located a vineyard that, ha that has a reputation. Okay. And we visited the site and we can see that it's either, you know, in a really cool coastal area and we can, you know, smell the sea air or yeah. feel the breeze or smell the trees in the area. Um, it's all about the whole picture of the vineyard. And so oh. it's the way that the, the vineyard is planted, how well it's tended, who's, who's farming it. Yeah, well, and it's, it, thank you for saying that because for so many years I like tell people, I'm like, get out of the winery, go walk the vineyard. Yeah. And you can like learn more in like five minutes walking a vineyard Correct. than hours inside a winery. Mm -hmm. And what makes Hallberg such a unique place is that in Green Valley, it's in close proximity to the Pacific Ocean. And so the sand is classic Gold Ridge series, powdery okay. sandy loam. So the roots penetrate deeply and can access the water table. Um, and, and pull some moisture of their own. So growers have the opportunity to dry farm. Oh, cool. And Kirk Laka, who's the vineyard manager, he prefers to dry farm. And it really helps the vineyard to express itself better. You get more concentration and yeah. more expression of the place. Well, and then just like the little things too of like not having to irrigate. Like right. it's, you know, it's one of those, if it can happen, why not do it? Right. Part of that, the brambly earthy quality that you get is also from whole cluster inclusion. Yeah. So in cooler climates, like where Hallberg's located, we can use higher percentages of whole cluster. And so the, the stems are ripening, turning hard, and turning from herbaceous, green herbaceous flavors into black tea and spice and, and earthiness that you want as a part of a, an expression of the wine. Very cool. And we ferment in these, these tanks that we're standing in front of. Um, these are the smaller, these, are, these hold about five tons of fruit. They're all open tops. And the larger tanks that we have just down the row are seven ton tanks. Wow. But these we use for um, the smaller components. We separate everything out. So the beach would get its own. The beach would get its own tank. Yeah. And Maybe the beach would even be divided between two different tanks. Wow. Maybe I de-stem one and do whole cluster on the other. And is that just like a kind of call when, does it, are you like that chef in the kitchen where you're just, you're feeling oh, yeah. it and you're just like, this is what's happening. Oh yeah. If you ask the guys in, on the crew here, Sometimes I, I make a decision the night before, but then when the fruit arrives, I make a completely different decision as I'm seeing the fruit go across the sorting table. Yeah, and you're like, I, I, I'm the boss. I get to do this. I'm sorry. <laughs> they, like, they enjoy it too. They sometimes have suggestions. That's awesome. I like to listen to the crew. They are working with the fruit as much as I am. So we make and a great team. This, I'm, I'm like loving this as we've been talking. It's like, it's just getting bigger and opening up. And for me, a great Pinot, like I almost don't even need to drink it. And I, for me, that's always a great sign when you just go back into the glass and find something new every time. Mm -hmm. And this has that just like that brambly blackberry that we talked about. I can see the blueberry. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But then it's just like also like, you know, that potting, not potting soil, but more like just really fertile kind of earth mm -hmm. element coming through. Yeah, there's that beautiful, again, back to the trees. Yeah. You know, when you're taking a cool coastal hike here in, the, mm -hmm. in, the, in Northern California. Yeah. It's the kind of things that I smell in addition to the beautiful fruit. You know, it's, and this is just seems vibrant and alive. And Which brings me back to wondering whether it's a fruit or a flower day. Mm -hmm. I'm very curious. It's very expressive today. Yeah. And I can smell a little bit of the, the spice from the stems. 
you know, mm -hmm. part of what's contributing to the um, the coastal walk with the smell of the leaves and the trees. Yeah, is or the, for me, like it makes me think of like ferns that right. you see all throughout here. Yeah. And, yeah. Great. Thank you, Keith. Yeah, thank you. Um, delicious wines, as always. Thank it's you been very a, much. A treat to drink them throughout the years, and mm -hmm. we look forward to many more. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Mm -hmm.